These are touching gifts people received from their loved ones who had passed away. Why is this teenager in tears? It began with Johnny Crow blindfolded in a car. He had no idea where his sister was driving him. Johnny getting his 16th birthday surprise. It was his 16th birthday in 2017 and he found himself at a music store in Michigan. His sister Chandler handed him a card from his father who died of a heart attack two months before. What does it say? Happy 16th birthday. Johnny stood in a state of puzzlement as the employees brought over the large case. Dad bought it for you before he passed away for your birthday. It was a beautiful guitar and Johnny was overwhelmed. Happy birthday, buddy. It was a gift this little one thought came from heaven. In 2016, two-year-old Braxton couldn't contain his excitement as he rushed to open this special Christmas present on his father's grave. The Hot Wheels! I mean Hot Wheels! Who got you that? Oh, my daddy. The toys were left for Braxton by the man who made the headstone as a surprise. Braxton's mother was overcome with such kindness. He's been a very unhappy little boy for, for a long time. Braxton's father, Cody, was in the National Guard and working for a police department when he was killed in a car wreck. This was the first holiday Braxton had without his father. And at this moment, it felt like dad came home for Christmas. Who got you that? Oh, my daddy. This gift was more than just a stuffed bear. It's a memory of this dad's late son. 16-year-old Dakota Reed died in a car accident in 2019. His father, John, donated his organs to give others a second chance at life. Every night, I would stand beside Dakota's bed and I'd lay my head on his chest, listening to the heartbeat. And I did it all the way up to the last night and I felt like, you know, God put it on my heart to do this. The man who got Dakota's heart sent John this special gift, a bear proclaiming him the best dad ever, and a recording of Dakota's heart beating inside its recipient. What that does is give me what I've been missing. It gave me a piece of my, a piece of my thumb back. And so now I can lay in bed and listen to it. John hopes his son's story encourages others to consider organ donation. He says hearing from the people Dakota saved has given him and his family a sense of peace. I couldn't ask for better way to control my grief than to know that he lived on to others and he, he's a hero. He gave a gift of life. And no doubt. I'm happy with it. This teddy bear brought this teen to tears. Press the hand. Taylor McCormick's Christmas present was a remembrance of her best friend Rodney, who died in 2020. This custom bear contained a recording of Rodney's voice. Rodney's voice. <laughs> The bear was a gift from Taylor's younger sister, Maddie, who was able to save a video of Rodney's voice and use it to create the present. Taylor was devastated to hear the news of Rodney's death and had trouble moving on. But with this reminder, Taylor was comforted knowing that a piece of Rodney would always be with her. A mother visiting her child's grave got a visitor of her own. Hello. You're beautiful. Marie Robinson of England lost her son Jack to brain cancer in 2013. She went to his grave on the anniversary of his death in 2017 to sit with him for a while. She says this red robin came to keep her company. It didn't seem afraid at all, landing on her foot and even perching on her fingers. 
The grieving mother was brought to tears by the beautiful moment. You say, see? <laughs> which she is taking as a sign of love from her late son. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.